All right, so we're going to import 100 users into our Active Directory environment. I've logged on to my server. First thing we need to do is create an organizational unit to put the new users. We do not want to import new users or any users into the default organizational unit. And the reason for that is later on when you want to apply policies, you don't want your policies affecting your domain admins and your DHCP admins and stuff like that. So you want to create a new organizational unit to, to contain all of your normal users. So we'll just create a new user right here, organizational unit. Right, and let's just call it um, <laughs> normal users. So that's just the container that I'm going to dump all of my new accounts into. And I'm going to switch over to my workstation. I've created a Windows XP workstation. I've uh, given it a computer name. I have given it an IP address that's in the range of my server. And now I'm going to log in. And you want to make sure you're logging into the domain and not just the workstation. So I'm going to log into the domain. I'm going to use the domain administrator account. Now, I've also previously installed Microsoft Excel onto my uh, workstation here. We're going to use that to edit the database file. Move all this crap out. Open up the file. The file's on my desktop. It's called 100 Customer List. Right, so here is the uh, bulk list of users. First name, last name, street, city, state, zip. What we need to add to this uh, file are the bits of information that are required by Active Directory in order to create a new account. So we need to create a password. We need to create the uh, account name. We need to create a display name, and we'll do that using Excel formulas, and we'll put them over on these columns over here. The other thing that we're going to need to do is uh, kind of relabel these columns. And I'm going to just put a new column. I'm going to insert a new column, or a new row, I'm sorry, right there. And we'll just uh, format it a little bit using... Uh, Centering, format cells, alignment, horizontal, center. You don't have to do this, but I think for my demonstration it'll help. So I want to label it one. This one's going to be labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's all we'll need. I'll put 11 in there just in case. Yep, I don't need it. All right, so let's save that file. The reason I'm doing that is just for demonstration purposes, it'll help you coordinate which column you need to put into which area of this script. Now, I've previously downloaded the importing script from Blackboard. If you right click on it and go to edit, it should open up in Notepad, and it does. And you'll see down here in the script, it references a row column number. So into row one, into row two, that references this column. Now the, the script was created by one person, and the uh, Excel file was created by a whole different user. I downloaded them off of different websites. Uh, and so the, uh, the, the corresponding columns aren't the same. So like right here, it's calling for the SAM account 
to be in column one, and we're using first name in column one. So down here under first name, they're calling it for column four. We're going to need to change that to column one. So does everybody understand what the difference is? The numbers just indicate which column the data resides in. All right. So let's look back at some of the other features. We need to make a, a SAM account. And if you go out to Blackboard and download the AD Bulk Users Attribute List and print that out, you look down uh, for SAM account. Where is SAM? Here we go. Under Account tab, Attribute Name, SAM Account Name, it gives you an example. All right, and it basically consists of how is the user account going to be laid out? Is it going to be last name, first two initials? Is it going to be first two initials, last name? Now that's something as an administrator you'll have to decide or a company policy is going to dictate how that's supposed to be. So we need to create that and we'll put it right here. I'm going to call it Sam. And we're going to put our Sam name right here and it's going to consist of uh, let's see here now. I gotta remember how to do this. It's always a little tricky the first time. Uh, is it equals? This account's going to equal uh, B two and left A one places. See if that works. No, I didn't work too well. What's the last one? B2, oh, okay. And B2, yeah. A2, left, A1, two places. How about plus? What's that? And sign. Yep. So just plus B2 and left A1 two places. I think it's going to be right here. The only problem is I want B3 and A3. There we go. All right, so that's the formula. I don't think I need the plus sign. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm telling it I want the value of this cell to equal the value of B3, column B, row 3, and the left two places of A3. So basically my account name policy is going to be last name, first two initials. And this is going to build it for us automatically. So now I'm going to grab the corner of this cell right here, left click and drag it down. When I let go, it should populate it. There, so it's got last name, first two initials, all the way down. Got it? Uh, you got the quotation or the uh, parentheses around the A3 comma 2? Four. 